on Sunday an estimated 700 people walking and chanting on Sheridan Road. The protest, organized by Evanston Fight for Black Lives and NU Community Not Cops, in solidarity with Adam Toledo, a 13-year-old Mexican American killed by a Chicago police officer, and Dante Wright, a 20-year-old African American killed by police in Minneapolis. Like the cops killed a 13-year-old child in cold blood.、Um, we can't not do anything. To not do anything is to act like that doesn't matter. That's not bad. There's nothing to change. Protesters demand defunding police departments, including NUPD, and investing in the community. These calls a continuation of protests from last year. And nothing has changed. There's no defunding. There's no reform. There's no nothing. Um, and none of our demands we put out since June of last year have been met. Grace Collar, a high school student at the protest, supports defunding the police. Even with years and years of training and like training other officers, just putting that much like that much power and that many expectations on one individual to do so many different jobs. Some protesters were disappointed by the 700-person crowd compared to the 5,000-person protest last May, after the deaths of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. That's according to Evanston Fight for Black Lives. People trying to make excuses for it or justify it still、um, is infuriating. Evanston police cars present throughout the protest, blocking off roads. Abolish NUPD. Abolish EPD. And we're gonna keep fighting till they're gone. Hannah Jiang, Northwestern News Network.